media then and now from instagram stories to binging on a web series it is our constant thirst for stories that all forms of media exploit to make us sit in front of screens for hours to appreciate the importance of media one must know its origin the history of media is essentially the history of storytelling itself over the centuries the need to create various forms of media was born out of humanity's desire to share a story with as many people as possible cave art was mankind's first intellectual pursuit for the first time in history humans were able to leave something behind for their future generations via the medium of walls in a cave while it gave rise to a collective memory for the cave men of those times it was also the precursor to media as we know it today however the creation of mass media had to wait for a very long time in the meantime the stories had to be oral or drawn on walls it took thousands of years for mankind to put them on paper paper was invented in china about 100 bc another 1500 years had to pass before johannes gutenberg built the first printing press gutenberg's printing press was the first mass media for the first time in history books could be mass produced although the ability to read these books was still limited to the elite in the society for a very long time so the actual audience for the medium of books was still very limited in those days that changed over the centuries as did the forms of media By the early 17th century the first newspapers had appeared however due to the lack of literacy leadership was limited as more people learned how to read and write the reach of mass media grew the handwritten news sheets popularly in venice as early as 1566 were the direct ancestors of the modern newspaper the first Modern newspapers were printed in Germany in 1609. The first major newspaper was perhaps the Times of London. In 1814, it acquired a printing press capable of making over a thousand copies an hour. It was soon adapted to print on both sides of a page at once. This innovation made newspapers cheaper and thus available to a larger part of the population by the late 1840s telegraph networks linked various cities and permitted overnight news reporting the invention of wood pulp paper making in 1840s further reduced the cost of news print newspapers were the first form of media to have a widespread and a loyal audience people could not wait to get their hands on a fresh copy the first thing in the morning they could not wait to read what was new in their world they were the first captive media audience and they were addicted to news the next major change was the introduction of photographs in newspapers a picture of barricades in paris during an uprising of june 25th 1848 was the first photograph to be used in a media or newspaper story in the initial years photos were used just to enhance a new story there were no stand alone pictures then something so common today photographs were a large or heavy activity back then a decent portrait took a lot of time to capture and develop 
it's hard to imagine those days in this time of instant selfies however it did not take too long for people to realize the influence of a good picture roger fenton was the first war photographer he documented the effects of the crimean war he laid the groundwork for modern photojournalism in the 1860s matthew bardi photographs of the united nations civil war shocked the americans moving pictures came in 1895 the lumiere brothers gave the first public demonstration of moving pictures in paris interestingly the moving image of a life size train coming towards them shocked the audience and many even ran away we have come a long way from those days the film industry now is a multi billion dollar industry meanwhile in 1901 italian inventor guegolemo macaroni raised a radio antenna attached to a kite on signal hill newfoundland canada and received a radio signal from cornwall england about 3400 kilometers away marconi made instant communication without wires possible this was the beginning of radio it was the most popular form of mass media until recently the biggest advantage of radio is that the literacy of the audience is not a factor even today in india where a large population still continue to be illiterate radio is used by the government to spread news and awareness about welfare schemes radio's popularity took a big hit when television sets started entering living rooms in the west television had invaded most homes in the 1950s television continues to be one of the most popular forms of mass media even today however the only real competition to television comes from the internet and social media the latest in the ever changing mass media landscape the origin of the internet can be traced back to 1965 engineers at the massachusetts institute of technology made communication between two computers possible the technology broke a message down into individual packages which were then reassembled at the receiving computer this led to the creation of the advanced research projects agency network or the arpanet a communication system developed by the us military in the 1969 it was the predecessor of the internet in 1990 tim benners lee developed hypertext markup language html which allowed people to navigate the internet the following year the world wide web went into action and by 1993 there were 600 websites and 2 million computers connected to the internet today there are over 1 billion websites with about 140,000 new ones being created every day along the way in the internet gave rise to the social media phenomena that has swept the world ever since social media is the newest and arguably the most influential form of media today the meteoric rise of this particular form of media has coincided with the soaring popularity of the internet unlike the traditional media which is usually controlled by a small group of powerful people the internet is by far more democratic a major reason for its popularity is the people to people nature of the medium televisions or radio most of the content is created and then distributed to the audience in a strict format the audience's only participation in the entire process is to consume the content that is not the case with the internet 
the content can both be created and consumed by the users this is the single most revolutionary aspect of internet just consider some of the most popular platforms today youtube twitter facebook instagram the content for all these is generated by the users also the interactive aspect of these platforms make them very popular anyone could have their 15 minutes of fame by the internet it doesn't matter who you are everybody has a shot at going viral social media has invaded our lives in ways no other media could have the sheer magnitude of the internet and the social media makes them the most unique forms of mass media and if the numbers are anything to go by this is just the very beginning businesses have started promoting their products as much through social media as traditional television channels and sometimes even more the sheer magnitude of the internet and social media makes it the most unique form of mass media and if the numbers are anything to go by this is again the very beginning of it while the convenience of social media is making it so popular it has also raised severe concerns around it more and more individuals are getting addicted to the screens every day the social media landscape changes so rapidly that users often have the fear of missing out this is not only hurting their physical and mental health but also their social well-being in the real world we as a society must realize that while social media is a great tool for communication and virtual interaction at the end of the day it should not replace the real world even today a very big part of the human race tries to meet its end outside the glossy and the virtual world of the internet we must put down our phones once in a while and experience the wonders of this real world thank you for listening to us we hope our article seemed meaningful to you please subscribe for more notable information